Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to make a short video and show you this brush pack that I bought the other day. Um, I bought it off Gumroad from Kyle Webster. Um, it's over a hundred brushes for Photoshop. I'm not getting paid to advertise this or talk about this at all in any way, I should point out. Uh, I'm not really much of a user of brushes but I've been doing a lot of drawing um, by hand lately and I needed to ink some of those up on Photoshop uh, and I found this brush pack and it's used by illustrators at Disney, Marvel, DreamWorks, loads of places like that. They're really wicked uh, I just wanted to show you a quick little demo video of what you get in the pack and some of the stuff. So here we go. So when you install it's really easy to install. In your brush menu suddenly you have access to all these brushes and I don't really do much digital art on the computer. Obviously I'm more of a web designer but there's loads of things that I find like really useful in this part like adding noise. So instead of me just kind of having to find textures and work with those that are free to use now I can just create my own and kind of get some more depth in my design and things like that. I can layer these up so put add noise to on. So that kind of gives you a little bit of a canvas feel. I'm just going to run for a few of the brushes here, so add canvas. So you can kind of make your own canvases and really good for throwing texture onto things and getting getting that little bit deeper. But the brushes themselves are also really cool. Let me just clear that. So for example, let's pick one. Let's pick one of the oil brushes. I'm just using blacks today for the colours, so um just to kind of show you what you get. But if you're I'm using a Wacom, a cheap Wacom bamboo, which I use a lot of the time. And you can kind of see how the pressure's kicking in, how that, that oil's lighter as it overlays. Let me jump into a different brush for you. Let's go for the oil jet. Oh, this, this one's really nice, actually. So as I'm kind of keep going over it, it kind of blends the colors and it's switching between kind of light, lighter grays and darker, depending on the pressure that I'm putting on. So if you want to make some custom type, or you're actually inking a drawing or anything like that, or you actually just want to do some painting in Photoshop, these are really cool. Um, there's so many that I've not even kind of got used to them all yet. Loads of different types of pencils, um, loads of like comic book inking brushes, and I really like the way that they work with with the pressure sensitivity on the Wacom. So if you've got an inch or something better than my bamboo, you're really going to get get a good deal here. Let's find one bone dry brush. This one that I like. So I'm not really, I'm really pressing quite lightly there. As I press a lot harder, you can see that's working out. So much fun. If you want to create some type or something like that, you might want to be writing something. I don't know what language I'm writing in there. I'm just trying to show you the pressure sensitivity working. But they're really, really cool. Where's one of my favourite ones? La la la, where is it? There's so many, it's so hard to find. Rough, dry, fun, big, and it is fun, this one. So there's me hardly pressing on it all. You can kind of see how that's painting on. You get some real good texture in those. But this one's great if you If you want to make some type, something like that. Quite cool, make your own fonts out of that. So let me show you what I was doing. So I've been doing some illustrations like this and um, these are heavily based on um, reference material I should point out it's not my own uh, image that I am kind of redrawn um, but I, I ink these up by hand initially just in, in black sharpie and then I've kind of painted the wash on in grey afterwards so at the time I didn't have this brush pack when I drew this but I would have liked to have had it because it, it would have given me so much more depth I'll uh, show you a few other brushes just quickly Have a look. Some of these I've not even tried yet, and I'm quite new to this. But look at that texture there; it's so good, so good. It's just so much fun to play with. I, I find myself opening blank canvases and just, and just scribbling and just painting stuff. I really want to set myself a little bit of a challenge and see how far I can push these things. Um, so that is pretty much it for this video. So go check that out, I'll put a link beneath the video, um, as I said, 
Kyle doesn't even know I'm making this, um, but I just wanted to say thanks, uh, and I think they're absolutely wicked. Uh, Thirteen dollars, everyone. So go check them out. Um, really useful for adding texture, making fonts, all that kind of stuff. If you're a digital painter, really good. Um, I've done a video on Art Rage before you'll have seen. It's kind of something to kind of rival a painting app and get painting directly in Photoshop if you're used to using that a lot. Um, that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.